Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so I got another query from an actual Quant Leap member. Um, Brian, sorry to bother you. I installed the Visual Studio with Python. Does it mean I can ignore your section setting up your Python uh, environment? As I am not from computer background, uh, so I'll address the second half of this query. Okay, what he's referring to is if you come in as a Quant Leap member, you come under my dashboard here. You uh, go to this Python algo training course infrastructure building block. What he's referring to are the first couple of units in here. In here, um, we have here the, the languages, why Python, setting up your Python environment. So what he's referring to is this. It's uh, a very, well, it's not a simple step, but this will walk you through the right way to do it. Um, now, you can do this on Windows, uh, but let's talk about this uh, business of Visual Studio with Python. Now, with Microsoft, I haven't looked at this in a while for obvious reasons. I'm not saying that this is not a, well, it's not the best option. We'll just leave it at that. So, with Visual Studio for Windows, um, they have this Python um, extension for Python and it looks like it, it's an okay option. Uh, it's got 17 reviews, uh, four and a half stars. I played with this. That's called PV, PTVCS. Uh, and I guess it works fine, works on Azure. Here's my issues with it. Uh, it's, not native, it's not pure native um, Python. It's Microsoft's interpretation of it. And just so everybody knows how Microsoft works, you could use a technology today and they could turn around and um, basically uh, basically uh, discontinue it. And uh, even though it says here you can do remote Linux, Mac OS debugging and all that, that's fine. But I'm going to be honest with you, um, if you had to choose all your integrated development environment, no matter what operating system you're on, you want to use something called PyCharm. Uh, it's probably the better way to go. You can run this on your uh, Windows if need be. There's two versions of it uh, from JetBrains. There's a community edition and then the professional. Uh, stick with the community because it's free. Now, um, here's what you get with it. Uh, you'll get the uh, basics, but uh, basically, you set this uh, PyCharm up. Uh, hopefully, you've seen me run it on my OS, but it should be the exact same on your Windows. On top of that, um, we cover in this module, I believe, pip install. Um, yes, all this fun stuff. But here I have SciPy and all that. Um, you're pro this is probably the hardest step that most people will come across, especially if you're new to it. Um, you're better off to stick with the PyCharm and use um, pip install uh, to install your other packages. Um, and that's why I recommend to set up a Ubuntu Linux virtual machine. It'll be a lot easier, a lot cleaner. Um, and uh, it's something I would recommend, uh, but if you had to use a Visual Studio, um, that's up to you. But again, I, I, don't, I haven't gone down that path, um, but you want to keep as much Microsoft out of your world as possible, um, just due to, as I said, numerous reasons. The big one is obviously somewhere along the line they may discontinue support of this. I can't guarantee it. Um, but if I had to, uh, I would use the PyCharm option and install via that way. Now, uh, in, in my module here, which probably will tell, tell you how to go through that, um, it is a, a bit more painful, um, but, uh, you know, you, you do the pip install um, using, and, and to do it in Windows, it's pure hell, because <laughs> you have to load in these Linux-like software project called, one's called Sigwin, uh, like that, or... Um, I mean, W is the other one for Windows. Man, those are really painful. And again, I would just rather just play around with um, the the uh, 
Ubuntu virtual machine in, in, in virtual box and go that route. Just it's cleaner, it's easier uh, over the long run and uh, better to maintain. Um, so I've got all that covered and then you can do your, your, your pip install here of your um, whatever, I don't know, let's do pandas as an example as one of the packages. So you can see here, it's, it's smart enough to be able to say uh, if I want to upgrade it or whatnot, but, it, but it's, it's much easier to go that route. Um, Visual Studio, I don't know, I, I, I can't say the right way or the wrong way. Uh, it is an important question. Uh, I may probably reinvestigate this, um, but I, I just, I just like, I'm going to be honest with you, like Windows is just not my favorite environment to play in. Regardless of, of again forced updates, security issues, latency, blah 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 blah. Um, again, that's why I'm saying it's just better off to try to stay on the Linux path as much as possible through a virtual machine, um, depending upon your goal, of course. So I'm hoping this answers your question. If you got questions, this guy says, uh, sorry to bother you. Um, don't be worried because he's a, he's a Quant Leap member. You're not bothering me when you're Quant Leap member. Hey, that's what it's about. Um, uh, so with that mind, um, ask away, but other people, uh, in terms of free, um, I mean, I've, I got a smart way of, of getting around that, uh, to prevent people trying to, how should I say, uh, um, I won't say take advantage of my services, but you know, it's just, I want to see how serious they are with my services because I, I got the account last last night I'm up to about 20,000 plus people in my community I'm constantly getting bombarded with people so I'm trying to do the intelligent thing give them resources for free here's some reports go 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 at it if you're serious come to this but again you'll quickly realize these type of services um, I'm getting out of <laughs> for obvious reasons because this software gets older and I'm wanting to set up a trading operation. I like helping people out, but it's going to be to a certain point. And after that, it's just going to be traders and trading community and trading strategies and not so much the uh, software end of things. Okay, so that's why I'm putting a limited um, uh, a time limit on this. So again, that's why I'm doing that. Okay, so take advantage as much as you can, uh, including my members, um, because... Uh, it's something I'm going to uh, uh, not be part of coming, moving forward. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll be helping a small, very small, select few number of people who uh, are driven and highly motivated. And that's it. Um, beyond, as I said, the people that want stuff for free, uh, there's lots of other options out there. Okay, I'll talk to you later.